Today's video is going to try and help you guys out in some way with every character on the roster. There are 30 characters so far in Injustice 2, and in this video I'm going to be giving you one tip you should know about every character. Every time you knock down your opponent or end a combo, make sure to use your on your mark stance and randomize each attack. You can hit from a mid, overhead, low, and run up for a throw. The more you mix up these attacks, it will be extremely hard for your opponent to decide where to block. The best way to end your combos is to throw your Birdarang as your last move. The reason for this is because you can then go in for another mix up since your opponent is forced to block the Birdarang. Sometimes your opponent will do an invincible wake up attack or a wake up attack with armor, so keep an eye out for those. And if you block it, well, then you've got yourself a punish, and you can go in for another Birdarang combo setup. If you're ever going to throw your ground mine at your opponent, make sure you follow it up with any overhead as quickly as you can. It will be very hard for your opponent to block low and overhead moves at relatively the same time. The Omega Beams are the answer to a lot of the other zoners on the roster, so make sure you use them efficiently and don't just spam the regular down forward one all the time. Try and mix it up a bit by hitting them low occasionally, and if they're ducking, you can meter burn the down forward one to hit them low for some chip damage, and if you see them jump, make sure to use either the upward Omega Beams or the regular one since it pretty much covers the entire screen. Always use the Flying Scarab against your opponents. If you want to use it to zone, you can jump back and use your projectiles which are really good. You can also use this to trick your opponent with some cross-ups that are overheads or fake cross-ups by just doing a neutral jump attack or use it to extend combos. Black Canary's level 3 Canary Cry trait is probably one of the best things about her character's gameplay. However, you should only use this mid-combo since you can become really predictable if you're going to be using it against zoners to keep away. It is a great way to start up combos, but it's better to extend them since it allows more damage to come in. Whenever you end your combos with the power slam, it opens up a cross up with the forward 3 move, but you can also keep your opponent guessing by holding back on the forward 3, which won't be a cross up and just hit overhead. Make sure to only pull out Poison Ivy straight when you end your combos that result in your opponent being pushed away a little bit. This will allow you to get some decent chip damage if you use her vine drills while the trait is throwing out its projectiles. The best way to charge up your tray and the safest way to charge up your tray is after the prison break and showcase combo strings. More so showcase since it keeps some distance between you and your opponent. Always apply pressure from the meter burn version of the fear Furno move because you can always follow it up by poking your opponent and use the meter burn version of the fear Furno again or follow it up with a mix up. It has good damage so use it when you can. If you're ever close to your opponent and is blocking, make sure to use the Bane Bomb as quickly as you can. It has good range and is another good counter for wake up attacks from your opponent with the Venom acquired since it gives him armor. You can do this a lot in the corner, but eventually your opponent will know how to get out of it, so make sure you mix it up with a couple moves here and there. Make sure you always have the Frozen Arrow equipped. It's probably his best type of arrow, but that's not to say that his others are great as well. It's just that the Freeze Arrow is a great way to extend and start combos, so because of that, it's always best to have it equipped. You can continue a short combo after the Joker Super Move. You have to time your hit correctly with the back three and go in for a couple more hits for some really good damage. Make sure you hit your blocking opponent with this string. It applies pressure, is extremely safe on block, and it pushes you back, which opens the door for you to keep zoning. Swamp Thing's forward two is one of the furthest reaching moves in the game, and it also opens a lot of mix-ups. You can continue by hitting them overhead or mix it up a bit by hitting them low. If you're close to your opponent, make sure you use the dive kick close to the ground since it basically makes an immediate overhead move. You can meter burn it if you like to extend combos. To charge up Firestorm's trait much faster, use this throw as much as you can because it charges it really fast compared to when you're just doing regular combos with an occasional special move here and there. Okay, now I know this string is cheap as heck, but literally this is the move that defines Superman in Injustice, and it's the best thing he's got, so make sure you use the string when you got the chance, as it opens insane combos with insane damage. Be sure to use the jump too as much as you can for cross-ups. A lot of people do it online, and it can get annoying, but if you want to play Batman, you're going to want to use this as an effective thing to do. Make sure to always apply pressure using this string. It's safe on block, and it can be quite tricky for your opponent to get out of it. It also does really good chip damage, so make sure you use it wisely. Be sure to keep the mix-ups going with Atrocitus with his forward 2 2 string. You can either continue it by pressing 3, which is 2 overheads, or follow it up with the Blood Nato, which hits low. This allows you to create pressure with your opponent and opens up combo opportunities. 
Every time you are cornering someone with Green Lantern, make sure you always end your combos with a 2-2-3 as it opens the door for you to do mix-ups and cross-ups that really give your opponent a hard time to deal with. Catwoman's trait when she has all of her scratches is extremely powerful, so make sure you use the meter burn version of it so you can get an even greater amount of damage. If you have all of your meter, the best and easiest way to land a super move with Cheetah is connecting it with the 112 string. It does massive damage and with her trait, it does even more damage and it literally melts the opponent's health bar. Make sure to always end your combos in the corner with the Play Doctor as it opens up mix-ups with an overhead, low, or throw your opponent. When done correctly, Harley Quinn can become a very dangerous person in the corner. Cyborg is an underrated character, and the new changes Netherrealm gave to Cyborg are much better. Cyborg is a decent zoner, so his zoning tools can be very useful against other zoners. Be sure to use them as soon as you can. If you have your trait acquired and want to do a cross-up that requires little effort, make sure you use this string and use the hover move. Once you do this, you'll instantly be on the other side and go in for another combo. When your opponent is blocking, make sure to use this block string. Everything is safe and plus on block, so your opponent really can't poke out of it without getting hit in some way. It will create some space for your opponent so you can easily hit them with a back three and start a new combo if they're jumping in. As a Black Adam main, this is your go-to combo string in general, and this is his go-to combo string to punish your opponent. It does 50% damage and it only requires one bar. I don't know if this is a glitch, but occasionally I'll get a 60% with this same combo string on ranked. If that's an actual thing in the game, let me know, but hey, take advantage of it. If your opponent gets close, make sure to always apply pressure by doing the back 1-2 move, and occasionally just do the back 1 just to make sure they're blocking low. It's hard to poke out of, so make sure you mix it up and hit them with the forward 2-3 as it's a fast overhead and it can allow you to still get some really good damage with him. If you ever have your Ice Clone available and your opponent is jumping a little too much towards you, make sure you catch them with an Ice Clone. Having your opponent frozen opens up for some sick combo opportunities to your opponent. So there you have it, one tip for every character in Injustice 2. If there's anything you think is worth knowing about a specific character, help each other out in the comments below as it will also help me out as well. If you found this helpful and enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button and let's see if we can get 100 likes on this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new as I post videos like this on the channel. Anyways, my name is Brusbo Productions and I'm out for now.